Another reason behind neck and shoulder pain and wrist pain. In previous videos, I've talked about two other reasons behind wrist problems and neck problems. What's causing them? Here's another one. Basically, the whole arm. So what does this stretch do? It helps, one, floss the brachial plexus. Those are the nerves that start at your cervical spine and go all the way down to your fingertips. We can floss them to get glide of the connective tissue surrounding those nerves. And we can also diagnostically find out what is causing the wrist problem because this stretch will show you where up and down the chain of the roadmap you're holding compression that's pulling on your wrist or the back of the head or the neck. We're gonna have our feet underneath our hips, shoulder in line with this hand, hopefully it is. I'm gonna push my hand, separate my fingertips, fingertips as much as I can, pushing against this post. You can find a wall at home. I'm gonna bring this arm into a little bit of external rotation, the shoulder that is, I'm not moving the palm. Kinda of like how gymnasts plug in to do a push up. Then, everything below the rib cage I keep engage because I'm not moving them. I'm just moving the rib cage to rotate away to pull on those tissues. Then I'm pushing down with my right foot, pushing that hand into the post. And then I can floss the scalenes here, which also pull on the wrist and the shoulders from the front. And breathing into my clavopectoral fascia here my pec minor and my pec major, just to expand this tissue, but also to floss those nerves because the breath is gonna pull on the connective tissue, which is gonna pull on those nerves. I should say, glide them. And then I'm, relax then I'm relaxing my face. I can also tilt my head a little bit to the right. Remember, as Gray Cook said, the test is the exercise, the exercise is the test. This is gonna tell you what's pulling on your wrist. 